Let me tell you a little story about Schrodinger's cat. My name's Erwin Schrodinger. I say, how you do? And I have a paradox that I must share with you. If I take a big steel box and put a cat within, then I lock it up again. Let the experiment begin. Do an experiment on a cat. I bet you live to regret that. Do an experiment on a cat. I bet you live to regret that. Inside the box there with the cat, some other crazy things. They'll be in there for an hour. I'll list them as I sing. A nucleus of an isotope has a half chance to decay. It will emit a particle. Geiger counters in the way. I hope the walls are not too thick. Schrodinger, man, you're really sick. I hope the walls are not too thick. Schrodinger, man, you're really sick. If the counter clicks a hit, we'll trigger a hammer blow. On some cyanic acid, that poor cat will go. But if the nucleus don't decay in the hour that I give, in that case, when we open the box, we'll see that my cat lived. I'm gonna call SPCA, better hope it don't decay. I'm gonna call SPCA, better hope it don't decay. During the hour, we have no way to verify our cat's fate. Will the cat survive the time, or will we be too late? And so without observation, a dual life our cat's led. Because quantum mechanically, she's both alive and dead. She's alive, you know it's true. Revenge will be in store for you. If she's alive, you know it's true. Revenge will be in store for you. How can she be both, you ask, simultaneously? Maybe the cat knows better, but we don't, you see. And so the hour passed us by without me, our purr. The cat was there, alive and dead. Which one? We can't infer. I can't take the suspense. I can't take it. I just can't take it anymore. Oh, this hour is going by so slow. When will it be over? Then the hour passed, and we opened up the box. We were wearing gas masks, in case the hammer dropped. The cats just stood there looking mad. I'm not your experiment. Who's your steadfast friend? Everywhere you went. Schrodinger, you scientist. Looks like your cat is really miffed. Schrodinger, you scientist. Looks like your cat is really miffed. We looked closer in the box and saw what she had done. The cat had pried the hammer loose because revenge is fun. And so we will relate to you what happened next with dread. The cat took up the hammer and whacked Schrodinger on the head. You thought that you were really smart. You can't just bash your head apart. You thought that you were really smart. You can't just bash your head apart. And so now it's Schrodinger who lies dead on the floor. Atop him, his triumphant cat will live forevermore. Schrodinger's cat strikes back. 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 Schrodinger's cat strikes back.